Hey Hawkeye fans, Justin Van Larry here. You may know me as Storm and Spank on the HawkeyeNation.com message boards. I'm here to talk to you about the season opener for the Iowa Hawkeyes men's basketball team. They're going to be taking on the University of uh, Texas San Antonio Roadrunners out of the Southland Conference. Um, this is a team that is going to be returning everyone except for two players um, from last year's team. And that team came into Carver last year and uh, was able to stay with the Hawkeyes and end up losing that game by, I think, seven points. Um, it's a very experienced team. Twelve of their players are either juniors or seniors. Um, they normally go with a three guard and two forward set. At least we've seen that in years past. And it doesn't give you any indication that they wouldn't go the same way this year um, with looking at their roster. They're, they're a shorter team, uh, guard-oriented, much like Iowa. Um, but Iowa will have the height advantage in this one. Um, so you might see uh, Iowa try to take advantage of that. Um, they're a team that's probably going to sub a lot and uh, do a, they have a lot of depth. Um, a lot of seniors and juniors, like I mentioned before, and a lot of playing time is available for all those guys. Uh, we're going to see uh, in this one the strength most of mostly of uh, UTSA is in their backcourt. Uh, two main guys for them. Number one, Omar Johnson. He was that uh, JUCO transfer last year. Came in and uh, he's a smaller guy. Um, runs about five seven and 150 pounds. So if Cully's on him, I mean he's going to have a 50 pound and half foot advantage on Omar Johnson, but uh, he's a quick guy. Um, last year, I think he put up something like 17 points on his three for four and three point range, uh, five assists, only one turnover. So he's got game. Um, the other guy to look at in the backcourt would be uh, Devin Gibson. He was uh, two years ago, he set, uh, he led the nation uh, in steals. So that's only the third time in the history of uh, the NCAA that that's happened. Um, I think he picked off uh, five steals from us last year. Didn't have a great game offensively, but definitely a defensive presence. And for that fact, both of these guards um, will bring a lot as far as the defensive side. Other than that, uh, Iowa, the key for their, for them today, you're going to see them try to get to the line. Last year, this game was won at the free throw line. If you remember, Jermaine Davis hit 10 out of 10 free throws to seal it for Iowa. Um, other than that, you're going to want to see Iowa try to use the outside shot to open up the inside, sort of like in football, how you see the, the run set up the pass. We'll try to see if uh, the outside shot from uh, Tucker or Bawinkle ends up opening the inside for Cole and Fuller and, uh, and Kugel. Um, the bigs will also be important today to try to stop second chance points for the road runners. Um, rebounding will be key. I think we'll see a lot of uh, Hawkeyes in the glass today. You'll see Fuller um, as well as Cole and Kugel on the glass, and uh, Gaines will uh, also help in that regard as well. So I think uh, prediction, if I had to go with one, I think uh, it's going to be a close game. I really think uh, Iowa is going to see something that you've seen, probably the same thing in the exhibition game against Marion. Um, not a lot of pounding down low. I hope they do, but I don't think we're going to see that this early on. But I think if I had to get a, a score, I'd say something in the range of Iowa 76, uh, UTSA 68. So it should be a good game tonight. Uh, if the three-pointers are falling for Iowa, we could see a sizable lead. But uh, without knowing for sure, we'll have to go with a, a moderate uh, prediction there. So go Hawks.